Bellator MMA live on Spike tonight from Pechanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California. Let's get right to it with former Bellator light heavyweight world champion Chris John Pumbu dropping down the middleweight to face Kendall Grove. Kendall Grove making a statement early, dropping Pumbu in the first five seconds of the fight. And then in round number two, showing his ground dominance here, taking the back and that left arm sneaking under the neck for the rear naked choke finish in round number two. On then to a fight at the catch weight of 138 pounds, Rafael Silva versus Rob Emerson. Rafael Silva hurting Rob Emerson with this right hand, but the story was really about his takedown. Every time Rob Emerson tried to get back into this fight, Rafael Silva with a beautiful level change, takedown, top pressure, tenacious ground and pound for all three rounds. Another catchweight fight, this one at 173 pounds. Fernando Gonzalez taking on Carl Parisian. Carl Parisian got caught reaching for the judo clinch and caught a beautiful left-handed uppercut. From there, Gonzalez aggressive on the ground with the ground and pound, not letting his foot off the gas until he got a first round TKO victory. And finally tonight, our main event, Justin Wilcox versus Bellator's former featherweight world champion, Daniel Strauss. With two fighters this physically similar, it comes down to a mistake. And it was Wilcox who made the mistake, charging at Daniel Strauss and eating a beautiful left hand for a first round knockout for the former champ. For the latest Bellator news and information, it's Bellator.com. Eduardo Dantes should be scared. Next Friday, the baddest man on the planet, Joe Warren. Oh, he's in a world of hurt. Battles the world's most dynamic bantamweight, Eduardo Dantes, for Bellator's undisputed world title. What a fight! Plus, Vina Michael Page looks for another one-punch knockout. That was a show. Spike presents Bellator MMA live next Friday at 9.